Hi folks, welcome to Dutch Cooking, where today we're going to be making these beautiful beer braised ox cheeks. We're going to be using the Dutch oven, so stay tuned to watch the full video to see how to make these. We're going to be doing these for an hashtag cast iron Wednesday and also a hashtag freezer aid. So I'm not sure what happened to the first part of this video where uh, I'm sure I filmed it but it seems to have got lost. So we'll just have a recap. I've just got some uh, ox cheek in a bowl and they've been soaking for 24 hours in a nice ale. So we're just going to take these uh, ox cheeks out now. We're going to put them on a plate with some paper towel on them and then just uh, dab them dry. We're going to retain this uh, marinade liquid. Just going to pat these dry with the uh, kitchen towel. Joy stoves up to temperature. We're going to get a small uh, Dutch oven on. Get it warmed up. To this we're just going to add a splash of oil. Uh, the oil's up to temperature, we're just going to uh, coat the bottom of the Dutch oven. And then in with the uh, ox cheeks. Uh, I don't want to crowd the pan, so I'm just going to do the uh, two small ones first. Just going to cook on each side until they've got a bit of colour on. Move these, get the big one in. got a nice bit of colour on it. Okay so to the Dutch oven now we're gonna add one chopped onion one chopped carrot and one chopped celery stick. Going to uh, drown these off for a couple of minutes. This is just a classic meal par. I'm just going to make a well in the middle here. And I'm going to add two chopped garlic cloves. I'm just going to cook this out for a couple of minutes. Combine it all together now. Add our uh, ox cheeks back in. Don't get these juices. Now, the marinating liquor, the beer that we've saved from before, that will go in. Then we're going to add a second bottle of beer to make sure these cheeks are covered. I'm going to put the lid on and bring this up to a steady simmer. Once we're up to this simmer now, we're just going to uh, spoon some of these impurities off the top. 
They are nice and clear now. Lid on. Turn the heat down and let it go for four hours. So four hours later, nice tender ox cheek. I've just simply strained the cooking uh, liquor off, reduced it, added a stick of butter, and made a nice shiny gravy. So this is my braised ox sheet with mashed potato and steamed vegetables. You see this ox sheet is just pull apart, this is just a fork, it's just so tender. If you like what we're doing here at Dutch Cooking, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell.